Hey, Shalom, Shalom, this is Tasha Dye from the GMS Los Angeles camp, coming back in this truth and the spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Wakai Kadash. Hey, the double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the Holy Lake Akim that's pushing this word to the serving. So, this is uh, more response um, for the time of Jacob's trouble that um, me and the brothers, you know, the faithful brothers of um, Great Millstone did a collaboration so i just want to like, expound a little bit more so i don't um i just want to expound a little bit more of jacob's trope because our people really think because they are opening up um they open up every state they're letting things open up and stuff and um they think things are going back to normal but this is just a ruse to see how would you react so they're going to put some stipulations in plan in order for things to reopen you have to take the jab and it's gonna be a precursor to the R5D shit, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, so um, let me get the first scripture, cause um, let me get Thessalonians, the first, um, the fifth chapter. Okay, because this is how Esau moves. Esau moves to see how would you react. So basically, it's like an old saying: you kick the can, everywhere it goes, the people will follow where that can is at, and that's how they manipulate and the people here in Babylon. And who they manipulating? The children of Israel, which are the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, so let me get out the first scripture, okay? We see how Esau's moving. So we saw, oh, he's opening up everything. Okay, I see what, but we know what he's trying to do, okay? Um, this is First First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verse one. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because we know we know what time we're living in and we know what season we're living in. All right? We're in a time of hate and war and we're in a season of destruction and war. Okay? And no peace. You understand? The only way peace is going to be brought is through violence, man. And, and that violence is going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahshad because he's going to destroy America, Babylon the Great, with violence, man. Okay, so there ain't gonna be no goddamn peace because we're not in a time and season of peace. We're in a time of hate and war. All right. Verse one, fifth chapter, First Thessalonians. All right. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. How do we know it perfectly? Because we in the scriptures. All right, the Lord. Bless us with the gift of knowing this knowledge. So we're the watchmen, so we have the blueprint of, of what's what's going to happen. Okay, we have the playbook, so to say. Okay? Alright, so why? Because we're deep rooted in this word and this truth. So we're looking unto the prophecies. So that's why that's why um we should know perfectly that the Lord should come in a thief in the night. Why? Because the scriptures say so. Alright? For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right? And um, our people right now is in a sense of comfort right now because they see things are opening up. Things, things, they think things are going back to normal, which is a rouge, which is a trickery from the so-called white man Esau Edom. I will give you an example of how they are right now. So this is um Amos the sixth chapter. This is this is the state our people are in right now. Okay. Woe to them that are um, Amos six chapter verse one. Woe to them that are ease in Zion. Who's in ease? So-called Negro Latino Native Americans. They making plans of their big payday. What they gonna do with their stimulus checks? What they gonna do in the future when things go back to normal? This is the talk I hear. Okay. You know, and guess what? A mil, a mil, so far, millions of Jake is already taking the jab, man. They already they gave up hope. They 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 settling within the system. Okay. Amos six chapter. Woe to them that are in ease. It says destruction upon you. That are in the comfort zone. That's what that's what the Lord is saying. Woe unto you that are in ease in Zion. Who's Zion? So called Negro Latino Native Americans. The Israelites. All right. And trust in the mountain of Samaria, and, that, and we go to the mountain of Samaria, that's talking about America. They trust the government. 
okay? They trust in Babylon the Great, AKA America. All right, they trust in what their leaders is telling them, what their rap leaders are telling them, what their sports leaders are telling them, what their politicians, their church, their church, their pastors. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which are named chief of the nation to whom the house of Israel came. All right? All right, let me jump down. Verse 3. Ye that put afar away the evil day. What's the evil day? Time of Jacob's trouble, man. What we're been warning to our people about, man. See, they, they want to put off, and the ones that's talking about they want to put off the evil day, that's talking about you, your Israelite leaders that's in bed with Esau Edom. Okay? That's in bed with the um, that's in bed with them other sellouts, okay, in order to fulfill their belly for lucre's sake. Okay? All right. They the ones who's putting off the, the evil day. How? By saying there's no such thing as Jacob's trouble. They say, yo, trust in. They'll tell you, follow the Romans, the 13th chapter to 100% T. Listen to your government. Take the jab. All right? They the ones who's putting off far away the evil day. We're not. Why? Because we're the watchmen blowing forth that trumpet and warning our people about that evil day. Jacob's trouble. All right? Ye that put far away the evil day and caused the seed of violence to come near. They let in the seed of violence. Who's the seed of violence? Esau Edom. He's the violent man. He's the wolf. The wolf is coming there. To who? To the children of Israel, man. To scatter them, to kill them. That's what's going to roll in Jacob's trouble. Okay? It's going to be a quick lesson. All right? I just want to expound a little bit more like a response to the time of Jacob's trouble. Verse 3, let me read it again. Ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seed of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory and stretch themselves upon their couches and eat the lambs of the flock and the cast out the midst of the stall, that chant to the sound of the vial, the, uh, the, the vial and, intent them, and, and invent themselves instruments of music like David. That's the problem with our people, man. They in a straight state of comfort. Right? I talk about the ones that call themselves Israelites, all right? They're in a state of comfort. They're eating good. They're getting themselves fat. They're making rap music. Trying to be, you know, they try to profess themselves they're holy, but they're not. Okay? They're not really blowing the true trumpet, the true music, which is warning our people of the wolf and the violent man. Okay? They're not warning our people about Jacob's trouble. They're not doing none of these things. They're in a seat of comfort right now. They live in fat, like a fat rat, man. Okay? That drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with chief ointments, but they are not greed for the affliction of Joseph. They don't feel sorry for you, man. They're trying to suck up money off of you and, and put you back into bed. That you won't be alert, man. This is the reason why the Lord said he shall come a thief as a night. Why? Because you're going to be in this state. You're going to be in a state of comfort. Okay. Um, uh, let me jump down. Let me go to um, Amos 9 verse 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar. And he said, smite the lintel of the door and the post may shake and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that flew them should not flee away. And he that escaped for them should not be delivered. Doesn't matter where you go. When the judgment comes past here in Babylon and great America, the ones who haven't repented, the ones that want to live like fat rats, you're not going to escape the judgment of Yahweh Bashim al -Bashai. That's what's going to roll here. All right? This is the reason why I read 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter, on the top. Okay? Because when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction is going to come upon them. And the ones that be saying peace and safety is your Israelite, so-called Israelite leaders out there, man. Of ISUBK, IUIC, and other various ones that I don't even know about that's coming out the woodwork. Okay? They the ones who putting you back into bed and not knowing, not sounding that trumpet of the wolf coming. Why? Because you're in your comfort zone. You're at ease. That's why the scripture is saying, Amos the sixth chapter, woe unto you because this is the state you're in. You in that Capernaum, Capernaum, Capernaum state, city of comfort, man. 
okay? So I just want to do a quick lesson, a little response to that. You know, hey, you people got to wake, wake up, man. Because this is how the so-called white man works. He catches when you're sleeping, man. But it's really ultimately the Lord. Okay? So now they open all everything up right now. You're going to get caught in that trick bag, man. So with that, I just want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Wakat Abdash. Hey, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole collective like, and that's pushing the word to society to them. Shalom.